presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to format the stage display clock to add seconds, the date, or even the time zone. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you can be among the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. Last week on the ProPresenter Users Group on Facebook, someone asked how to add seconds to the stage display clock. Not just the countdown time, but the clock. So let's head over to the computer to take a look. So how did I get the seconds to show up? Well, it's actually pretty simple when you know where to look. So let's go into view, clocks and timers, or you could do control C. That's on the ProPresenter 6 keyboard skin as well. So either way. And you'll notice right in this section, which you may not have paid any attention to whatsoever before, it shows you how to do this. So I can add the date. Let's say it's June 27th. So there we go. And you see that updates automatically. So we've got that showing up. Let's say instead I wanted to do it like that. That updates. Now for seconds, I can do just hours and minutes like that. Hours, minutes, and seconds like that, or even add in the time zone. I don't, I can't think of a lot of times where you would want to add in the time zone, but that's a particular time where you might want to do it. Maybe if your church is on one side of a time zone and you get a lot of people from the other side, maybe, just to remind them, hey, we're in Eastern Time here, and you're in Central Time where you live, etc. Something like that. Maybe if your church is on the border with Arizona, which doesn't do daylight saving, then you could do that as well. You could also do the 24-hour clock. Might work particularly well if you're serving a lot of military people. Something like that. So. Those are the options. They're not all that hard, and it can really save you some time and give you some flexibility. So that's all there is to it. You change it in that top bar of clocks. That's one of those things that's hidden in plain sight, but now that you know it, you'll be able to fix it whenever you want. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge, don't forget that you can enroll in any of my ProPresenter mini-courses for free. Just go to tdm.fyi slash tutorials mini, M-I-N-I. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.